But Chaz Palminteri is one of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. He's also very versatile, and he's here to talk to us live about his amazing acting career in a new play. But uh, Crystal Young got to him first to talk about his restaurant business. Yummy. Watch. Actor Chaz Palminteri is celebrating a milestone, the one-year anniversary of his Italian restaurant on 2nd Avenue and 48th Street. He is never too busy to roll up his sleeves and make a meatball. These are called meatballs over Broadway. I see what you did there. And there's lots of ingredients, but they're easy pantry ingredients. So where do we begin? The key with anything is great ingredients. We okay. have two and a half pounds of chopped meat here. Parsley, onion, celery, basil, Parmigiano, Reggiano, cheese, oregano, smoked paprika, pepper, salt, two eggs, chopped garlic, and water-soaked bread for moisture. Then right before you roll the meatballs, you oil your hands so the meat doesn't stick. A tip. Straight from Chaz's and grandma. You start to make. A few ladles of sauce, a splash of chicken stock, and into the oven for 25 minutes. While they baked, we chatted. A Bronx Tale is Chaz's coming-of-age story. It was a one-man play in 1990, then a movie in 93. I offered you a job, but you said no to me. That's right, and I say no now. Just leave my son alone, please. Hey! Don't you see how I treat that kid? I treat that kid like he's my son. Now, as a musical, it's headed to the Long Acre Theater on Broadway, directed by Robert De Niro. It's very relevant today. Mm -hmm. It's a great story mm -hmm. about wasted talent, how this one boy takes the best from his father and the best from this wise guy. And through his eyes, we watch him become a man. My favorite scene is the car scene. If the girl opens the door for you, you know it's real love. But it really works. You know, if the girl doesn't open the door for you, I would say run. <laughs> if it's raining, really run. <laughs> run fast. Run fast. <laughs> Something new. Yeah. You know, with yeah. young actors, yeah. these great dancers, yeah. singers. Yeah. Phenomenal. Nick yeah. Cordero is playing Sonny. And Richard, okay. Richard Blake is playing Lorenzo. Finally, our meatballs arrive, we toast and dig in. That's mm. it. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News. Those meatballs look amazing, Chaz. Yes. Uh, they're, they're fantastic. Your restaurant's doing really well. It's doing really great. You know, Chaz Palateri's Restaurant Day, uh, you know, Italiano, it's, it's doing fantastic. Yeah, it's right around, it's actually right around the corner from the UN, right yeah. on 2nd Avenue between 47th and 48th Street. Beautiful. You got murals and everything. It's a yes. lovely Italian restaurant. Congratulations. Thank We're coming you. over there real soon, okay? I hope so. I will. Chaz, you know what? You've done it all. My goodness. Actor, director, producer, writer, musician, restaurateur. What haven't you done? Uh, I haven't done what you do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> that's God, next. because that's hard. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, yes, what you is. do is, is pretty hard, too. Yeah. You know, you've done so much, and, and we're looking forward now to a lot of the great things that you're doing. Bronx Tale. Yes. It's a, an incredible, you know, movie. I loved it. I watched it Thank so you. many times. I bought the Thank thing. You. Now you're bringing it to Broadway as a musical. As a musical. You, you did it as, as, as a one-man show. I did it as a one-man show on Broadway. Now right. it's coming uh, years ago, almost 10 years ago. Now it's coming as a musical, which I always thought would be... Of all the things, the one-man show, the movie, I always felt the musical would be probably, in my eyes, you know, the most rewarding for me. Well, it has to be. I mean, that's a you great know. challenge, and you've got a terrific staff. I mean, you've got Jerry Zaks, Alan Menken. I mean, on and on and on. Alan this is Menken, a huge. Alan Menken, eight Academy Award winner, wrote the music. I, I, I love the score. Jerry Zaks, Robert De Niro, uh, co-directing. Tommy Mottola, the great music mogul, Amazing. is producing with the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. uh, Glenn Slater, three-time Tony nominee, uh, for, did the lyrics. So we just have a great, great team. Yeah, you do. Keep our fingers crossed, and we'll see what no, happens. No, you're going to do I mean, Robert De Niro did the movie with you, right? He directed yes, the movie. he directed so. the movie. Jerry Zaks directed the one-man show. So right. I have the best of both worlds. So are you excited about this? Oh, I mean, my this God, is, This is yes. like a big challenge in, in many ways, I'm isn't so it? excited. You know, I... I wrote the book for the musical. I was very excited to do it because there was there were things, Ernie, that I couldn't put in the movie right. and I couldn't put in the one-man show that I was able to put in the musical. Yes. So there's these new things in there and wonderful things about my mom and dad and about the gangster Sonny. So uh, it's I, I, I'm really excited. And you by chose it. not to be in it, though. You you didn't want to perform. No, no, no. I didn't want right. to be in it. I never wanted to be. I, I because th this is a brand new incarnation. Right. This is a rebirth of something of a story. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to be in it. And we found Nick Cordero, who is just, he got nominated for a Tony in Bullets Over Great Broadway. Actor. Great, Great actor. Great actor oh, and yeah. singer. Yes. And he's played, actually, he played me in Bullets Over Broadway on Broadway, <laughs> the part that I did in the movie. And that's so he is, he's 
young, handsome, great. Great. And uh, he's an amazing Sonny. So uh, we're very, very fortunate. Well, you to you have told him. me, you said you only want to work with the best people, and that's the reason why you're going to have great success. Listen, we're going to take a short break. Sure. I want to talk about your, your personal feelings about a Bronx tale, okay? okay? We're coming right back after the break. Keep it right here at Fox 5. Chaz Almonteri, live, right here. Good stuff, straight ahead. Keep it here. Okay, look at this face, Chaz Palmonter. Everybody knows him. No, it's true. I mean, really. I mean, well, that, you. that your face is just everywhere. Everybody knows who you are. A Bronx Tale was a great film. Bringing it to Broadway is a musical. Yeah. This is a very personal story for you. Tell me about that. Well, you know, it's about my life. My real name is Calogero. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw this killing when I was, uh, you know, nine years old, sitting on my stoop. This guy killed a man right in front of me, mm -hmm. just like you in the movie, you saw. It. And he turned to me. I looked at him and. And then the next minute, my father grabbed my arm and dragged me upstairs, mm -hmm. and I didn't rat the guy out. That's, and, and so me, my father was a bus driver. Uh, he loved, uh, you know, my father loved boxing. He loved to uh, play the saxophone. He constantly would watch me get upstairs. I had a relationship with a black girl when I was 17, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this, this is, is 1968. Yeah, right. This is your story. This is my story. Yeah, so that's I used why to it's throw so the personal. dice for the wise guys. No kidding. Oh, Isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's such a good feeling for you to be able yeah. to do something like I know your, your, your dad passed 90 years old. Nine your years mom old, is yeah. 97. God bless her. Yes. Hope she can make it to see the performance. Yes. That would be great. I well, want to just make mention here that the previews start November 3rd. Yes. Show opens December 1st at the Long Acre Theater on West 48th Street. Right. Very easy. Go to the restaurant and then head over to the show. Exactly. 48th Street on yeah. the east side is the restaurant. Right. 48th Street on the west side is right. the, is, is the uh, broad, uh, Broadway musical. Come on out. Come do on it before out. or after. And we have just great food. We have, I'm seriously, Ernie, we have the best, we have one of the best restaurants in the city. I know you do. Best steaks, chops, Italian food, first class operation. And you love New York City, don't you? I love it. I'm at the restaurant I, I, all the time. I, I, you love this town, you know? Isn't yes. that a wonderful feeling? I love feeling? this town. I, I love living here. New York is, I just have a great relationship. Well, with listen, it. you know what? We're looking forward to this, a Bronx Tale, a musical. We're going to be there. We're going to come to your restaurant, God have bless. dinner, Thank and then we're going to come. Jazz, what a pleasure. Pleasure. Great guy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling Thank you, both you. on and off the air.